everybody today in this video I have the pull up Nana Chan to unbox and review and this is the collaboration with 75 drowsy and pull up okay here is Nana out of the box and we'll start with looking at her face she has very pale skin and a pale um, face makeup to look natural and light pinks on the blushing with the cheek and very light pink on the lips and just a little bit of gloss it's very very cute she has light green eyes and um, her eyebrows are brown there's a little bit of color on her eyelids, some smoky gray brown and a little bit of yellow and then um, using the mechanism in the back of her head you can move like any pull up her eyes side to side and then when we close her eyelids the eyelids are just a slightly darker natural color with a um, medium brown line. On her head, she has this cat ear headband that is super, super soft faux fur. It's a mixture of mostly white fur with a little bit of light gray and yellow, and it is tied around her chin with a thin ribbon. Nana also has long, light blonde, almost white hair. She has her bangs, which are silky. They're not gelled or hairsprayed. Um, very silky and soft to the touch. And then you turn her around and she has all of these curls. She's leaning a little bit here. Lots and lots of curls which made the journey in the box and were not smashed. They look pretty much perfect. There is a tiny bit of gel to them. Um, they aren't hard or crunchy, but you can tell there's a little bit of product. This one is a little crunchy, but um, they're still bouncy and can move and you can touch them without feeling hard. Moving down into her necklace, she has a little ribbon choker necklace um, that is a bow and it has a pearl in the middle of the bow. And then now to her dress, which is like a nightgown. It does have some pearl detailing with uh, some other beads on the chest. And then the rest is super soft, um, nightgown, linen, I believe, and then some lace along the bottom. And underneath the dress, she does have these cute little white bloomer type underwear pants on that have um, little lace ties on the side. And then finally, she comes with a pair of woolen socks in a soft brown gray sort of color and it has a little lace around the ankle. She doesn't have any shoes and then her doll stand which is a bronze color that she um, can stand with. And if you turn her around she has this fur cat tail faux fur cat tail and it um matches the fur in her ears it's that kind of pale calico with the light cream and white and gray this does have a wire through it so you can pose it a little bit and this attaches actually to a ribbon that is um, wrapped around her waist. So that ribbon that I thought was on the sides of her, her little bloomers, which is actually the ribbon for this. And then it just like peeks out the back of her dress. So that's really, really soft to the touch. 
And here is a quick look at the small photo card that she comes with. On here it has the straight white side of her ears facing forward, but I kind of like it with the color on this side. I think it looks a little cuter. And here is the other side. So overall, I think th um, they did a great job with Nana-chan um, mixing light colors. They made her interesting. Um, I love how pretty she is, her long, light blonde, white hair. The tail and the ears are super soft, and even though her nightgown slash dress is pretty simple for a pull-up, it's really cute and goes well with the doll. And um, even not having shoes just makes her character seem really cute and cuddly and soft and that's um what this pull up i think really um her theme feels like soft and cuddly and she does that really well the colors and the feel and the texture of her so my rating for the nana chan pull up from one to ten ten being the best and this is my own opinion. Yours might be different. But I definitely would give her a 10 out of 10. Everything about her, um, all the joints and the accessories, everything is really well made. Uh, they put a lot of detail, color scheme, theme, and execution. I think they did an awesome job. Thanks for watching this review. Bye!